Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I'm sure you understand. I was hoping for more than a summary. You know, for us to talk about it. It will have to do. I don't like to talk about Sandrak. Because I don't like remembering him as a friend. We fought alongside each other for 30 years, Jack. I depended on him. Would have given my life for his. And all of that is gone. It does me no good to relive it. To let it in, I might also invite a mercy where I can have none. Come. Show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the Deep Mirror. But his movements are weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devon will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Clayless Traders Guild provided us with a colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. You've been hiding anything and everything about Sandrak being an immortal since day one. I deserve more than a report you wrote up. Tell me, Jack, if you had a very close friend that you shared a common cause with for the longest time, a vision of what was right and true and good, and they betrayed that vision, betrayed you, how would you feel? Would you want to talk about it? Could you? talk about it. If the person you once knew became someone you could never now understand. I am... Um, I'm pretty sure I know what that kind of betrayal feels like. So, yeah. I shouldn't ask you to reopen old wounds. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. For the breaking of his oath to the Order, I exiled him back to Rashan as punishment. Thinking his ancestral enemies there would be the death of him. That last part didn't work out. Not even a little bit. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl. Kenzie? She wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir. Over here, champ. Did you get lost? No, I just... 
Ever wore Central here just kind of skeeves me out. And then someone told me about all those names out there being dead people and it. The garden area thing, it was nice. Yeah, the names hit me pretty hard too when I first got here. I, I was going to leave, but then your boss lady said you were on your way back and there I am thinking about dead people and then of course I suddenly can't get Thaddeus out of my head. I'm really sorry. I know you two were close. He was such an asshole. Did he... When you hung out with him, did he talk about me at all? I... I really looked up to him. Come on. You know he couldn't not mention you. Really? Really. Oh. What'd he say? Huh? Come on, what'd he say? He, uh... Um, <clears throat> you know, he, he regretted how he ditched you at the library, that, you know, he just up and left without... Without even saying goodbye. Right, right. Hated that he did that. Hated it so hard. Said you deserve way better. Wow. Wow. Thanks a lot, Jack. You have no idea how good it feels to hear that. All right, then. I guess my job's done here. I'll be off. If I- We're heading out to the deep mirror tomorrow to beat the hell out of Sandra. You wanna come? The ocean? <laughs> oh, hell no. No one from Oraman knows how to swim. Well, neither does anyone from Saren. We'll both be trailblazers. Also, you're good in a fight. We could use that. I helped you out once. Do it again and I'm just another pawn of the hegemony. Count me out, soldier boy. Worth a try. Swell digs, by the way. Pretty enlightening seeing how the other half lives. Look now, I grew up in the underbridge. In the slums. I just work here. <laughs> My bad. Totally didn't realize you were keeping it real. Bye, Kenzie. And hey, thanks for the assist with finding the Shrine Forge. See ya, hot stuff. I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Lights Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Rashanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father. My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the Turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, Initiate, to why I think the Unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have, 
There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too? You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more surprised. Another. Damn it. Another. Use your arse! Use your last! I know, I know. Another. Am I dead? Ugh. It's him, isn't it? Sandrak's moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen. I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks. I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill at beer pong. Wait, you were there? I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. Come to the docks over in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> See you soon.
Does seasickness cancel out hangovers? Or is it more of an additive thing? Welcome aboard, Immortal. What's our bearing, sir? Can't give you anything precise, Captain, but north by northeast? Five knots. If Sandrak changes course, you'll be the first to know. Something wrong? Just the fact that this mission and the war hinges on something that we don't understand. At all. We'll catch him, sir. Jack? Over here, Jack. Hey, Dev. This was built by the Ajman. You sometimes forget that there were great civilizations of such marvelous invention before Aristea. What's up, Jack? So, uh, you went to university, right? I mean, duh, you were just all, this was built by the Arjman, and uh, I've never even heard of them. If there's one thing my father expected of me, it was to treat history like a type of scholastic jambalaya, and just continue. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, I've read a lot of books, and um, I know my numbers and stuff like that. It's just... Uh... I don't think I've ever seen you so insecure, Jack. Is it the upcoming fight? No, no, no. Well, yeah, uh, kind of, maybe. Look, the thing is, Sandrak is super educated. You remember how he called me... In our every meeting a yipping pup. I remember. Exactly. Thank In you. our every meeting a yipping pup. Uh, you didn't need to do it again. But yeah, that's, you know, I want to say something like that to him, right? Like, we're fighting and I'm all... Yeah, and you're... Old. But not like that, obviously. Oh, I see. Uh, an erudite put-down. A deeply cutting tit to his tat. If that means what I think it does, then very much yes. Well, let's make one for you. Like you say, Sandrak's very old, and he's... A stuffed shirt. <laughs> let's work on it. We'll give it right back to him. In our every meeting, uh, so-and-so... Blowhard? Buffoon? Windbag? Sandrak's totally a windbag. Completely agree. 
but something before it. In our every meeting, a what windbag. Now, the old bit. Geriatric? Obsolescent? Fossil? Oh no, no. fossilized. Oh, he's totally a fossil. Older than dirt and dog years, as Thaddeus would say. I mean, I imagine he would say something like that. That's the one. I think we've got it. Let's test it out. I'm Sandbrook. I'm... Wait, wait, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm Sandrak, and I'm bursting with power, and I have that bored patrician look on my face, and I go something like, Fools for certain, there is no mercy, but of my white, hot, and branding make. Shut the fuck up, you fossilized windbag. What do you think? Uh, I mean, just telling him to shut the fuck up is pretty good. He'll absolutely hate it. Huh. Yeah, I guess you would. And you really sell that part of it. Yeah. It feels good. Okay, thanks, Dev. Happy to help. Now, get up to the control room. I'll join you shortly. Your mind initiate. Oh, uh, I just heard you talking and thought maybe. Has Sandrak changed course? No. I don't know why he was almost running in circles before, but his movements have leveled out. Now it's a straight line. Font of Kalalian. They call her the mother of the water spirits. She's quick and wouldn't have been run down easily. She gave him a good chase. Did you just make that up? I thought you guys didn't know anything about the fonts. I don't know what they look like. And outside of the font and the palathon, I've never known where they were. But that's never stopped Magni from telling stories about them. Speaking of the font and the palathon, what did she show you on the path that you took with you? The one most important to you, I mean. I'm just curious. I am. Her name's Luna. The friend I mentioned during my graduation, or whatever you call it. The one the Rosharnians killed. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's who I'm talking about. You two have unfinished business. What? That's what the path was saying. You must not be able to bury her, Jack. You need to figure out how. Carry on, Initiate. Shawnee and airships headed our way. Prepare to engage. Prepare to repel boarders! Airships got a toxin! Action stations! Action stations! Here we go. Get to the control room and protect Selco. 
Zendara and I will hold off the Rashanians down here. Got it. Gotta get to the control room.
This is stupid. Turn back. There's no reason for your people to lose their lives. You shouldn't underestimate them. They used to be your people too, remember? Sandrax already started binding the font. He'll be unstoppable when he's finished, and there's nothing any of you can do. Yeah, well, I've still got a trick or two up my sleeve. And you could help. You know I won't. Then stop wasting my time. Go! Hold still, Captain. We're here. The font is on the bottom of the sea, and he's holding the waters back. He's draining the font. We gotta go. Now. Go! Devin can steer in my stead. We'll hold off the Rashanians. I'll do what <gasps> now? You are broken and you are bound, Dream of Kilelia. The fault of Aristea was thinking of you as anything more than a tool. Use your mark to destroy it now! He doesn't have any such mark, my dear. What? Stand down, brother. You could rejoice with me. The work is almost done. Or you could just shut the fuck up. Manners. Every moment of your life has existed in the orbit of my own. You cannot describe yourself without mentioning my name. I am the sole catalyst for your sense of purpose. 
There comes a time when any thrall buckles in their chains. But I never put them there. You see me as your enemy because I don't see you at all. A triarch. Kirken was lucky to find you. Vija! Draw this out for nothing. Von Titor. You were unforeseen, I can tell. Satan Mist! Get beaten! What do you hope to do? Lucia should have been a lesson. Vija! You fight like a soldier in the dirt, not a magnet. You were unforeseen, I can tell. Van Tiefel. Keep him at bay! Doesn't belong to me. Let me bring this to a close. Racing your magic, so kill the immortal. Give that back. Or come in, boy. Draw this out for nothing. No more. That a miss. Let him into 
rock. Here, the Shrouded Realm. It's just like the Pale Forest. Something about the fonts weakens the barriers between the worlds. Oh, hey, we, uh, <laughs> we gotta stop meeting like this. Shit! Dara, on your feet! We've gotta go now! The sea's collapsing on itself! Let it be your tomb! Or, how about yours? Dead. He's gotta be. Maybe not dead exactly, but extremely inconvenienced. We lost the Binding Stone, Jack. Found it. Hey, where's Andara? Already flying back to the Palathon, I suspect. Or searching for some errant Rashanian harriers to pummel so she can work her aggressions out before speaking to Kirken. Wait, what? You're joking. You completely went against orders at the Shrine Forge, Jack. And you hid it from all of us. You made us look like fools. What? No, you mean the control mark? Sandrak's gone. We got the Binding Stone. Devin, we just won the war. Kirkan told you to destroy it, not bring it home. Devin, you cannot be serious right now. Just go, Jack. Kirkan's going to be positively beside herself with anger when she finds out what you did. You need to take this seriously. It will go over very badly. This is the front. The bulk of the Light's army musters there, ready for the big push. I've run through the war games countless times. When Sandrak had the Binding Stone, our chances were slim to none. All these soldiers. When you look at them, Jack, what do you see? <sighs> I, I know you want me to say I see loyalty or, or duty or something like that. All right, that way I can step into some irony or whatever you can use to... Look, I know you're using this as some kind of preamble to tell me you're angry with me. I am goddamn furious. I'm sorry. I got to the Shrine Forge and... and there was a choice I could make. No, there wasn't. 
There wasn't a choice. Who told you there was a choice? Zendara, you were as field commander. Did you get to the Shrine Forge and say, make it up as you go along? No, sir. Our objective was to figure out a way to destroy the Binding Stone. Then why is it in my war chamber, Commander? I gave no indication that we were to deviate from that objective, sir. So you're telling me that you're unable to control your people? Is that it? Don't yell at her. I did it. Chain of command, Jack. And I'm getting to you. Okay, okay. If I can just say one thing. That right there is unnecessary with that right there. I got us control of the ultimate weapon, and we can roll right now into Rasharn by ourselves and force their surrender without firing a shot. Oh, you've got it all worked out. I didn't realize that. Am I the only one in the room that sees the last 24 hours as an unbelievable victory? I mean, what part of ultimate weapon don't you like? The part where it's a corrupted Aristan artifact, Jack. When we all know Aristan is really just another word for weapons from yesteryear that we are absolutely unprepared for. Maybe you're unprepared. And you aren't? When I found you, the only thing you were prepared for was exploding and taking the rest of Saren with you. The last time I talked with Sandrak, he pulled the same you wouldn't exist without me lecture you are. So you're a little late to the party, sir. You will go back to the Shrine Forge and get the mark you were ordered to in the first place. Can't do it. And then you will come back here and destroy this thing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm being for real. I, I can't. The machine, it, well, it, it broke. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Are you serious right now? I'm not. And I am. All right, and I can control it. Why can't you see that? You can't control it. No one can. What if Sandrak really isn't gone, and he gets it back? What then? It stays here, under lock and key. Take it to the vault. You're making a mistake. Take it to the goddamn vault! see me at the scrying hub. Can it wait? I need some time to cool off. Kirkin tore me a new one. No, it can't wait, Jack. Come see me right now. Okay, what's the big deal? You two, give us the room. Move! Room, seal and set scrying wards. Remember when Sandrak breached the Palathon that one time? What fun! 
And afterwards, it was up to me to strengthen our security enchantments against Roshanian magic. Yeah? Well, they worked. Who the hell is Luna, Jack? Just stop, Luna. Roshan doesn't have its own colors. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? What is it? Some kind of spectral projection? The real question is, who are you communicating with? Wait, uh, are you spying on me? Are you spying on us? Is this Luna a Roshanian agent? No! Y yes, sh sh she, she grew up with me in Saren. She took care of us. Turns out... God, look, it's so messed up, Dev. Luna's... The friend you say is dead, which is very sad, but also very not true, because it turns out she's a Roshanian agent. Worse. She's the hand of Sandrak. Oh, do me a favor! I know, I know. I swear I was going to tell you. You already kind of knew. You noticed me looking at her in one of our briefings. She can hear our mission briefings? No, no. At least she says she can. And I believe her, because when we mind link or whatever, I can't see or hear anything around her either. It's not... It's a, it's a corrupted spell, Devin, not some kind of covert intelligence device thing. I, I promise. Daddyus cast a Rasharnian spell. That's what you detected, so we could walk around in each other's heads, and she got in somehow. I, I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure what to do. I thought maybe I could convince her of something I hadn't come up with yet. All right, it, it's messy. But I was never going to let her hurt us. You said she killed Thaddeus. Well, I was never going to let her hurt us after that. Devin, come on, she didn't interfere in the deep mirror. She hasn't come after us since this whole mind fuckery stuff happened. And now that Sandrek's dead, we can- Stop it. Just stop. I think you should leave. Okay. I'll, uh, be in my room. The Palathon. You should leave the Palathon. This is bad, Jack. You're serious. Whatever I decide to tell Kirkan, I'll... I'll let you know beforehand. <laughs>